Hi, this video tutorial I will cover uh, factory design pattern. This factory design pattern falls under the category of uh, creational design pattern. Uh, first, we will see the explanation of uh, factory design pattern. Uh, this is the first explanation uh, I will just read out. In factory design pattern, we create object without exposing the creation logic to the client and refer to newly created object using a common interface. And uh, this is the second explanation. In simple words, if we have a super class and n subclasses and based on data provided, we have to return the object of one of the subclasses. We use factory design pattern. And I will read out the third explanation. The basic principle behind this pattern is that at runtime, we get an object of similar type based on the parameter we pass. And the fourth and final explanation. If object creation code is spread in whole application, and if you need to change the process of object creation, then you need to go in each and every place to make necessary changes. So these are the four explanations. To understand uh, this four uh, explanation or uh, four statement, I have uh, created uh, this pillow diagram. So here uh, you can see animal. Okay. So this animal is the super class and uh, it has uh, public string speak method. Okay and uh, this animal is uh, uh, extended by uh, three classes okay first one is uh, duck and uh, second one is dock and uh, third one is lion okay so this duck dock and lion are subclasses of uh, animal class okay and this animal has a speak method so this duck will implement this uh, speak method and it will return quack quack and uh, this dock will uh, implement this public string speak method and it will return bark bark and uh, this uh, lion class will uh, implement this uh, speak method and it will return roar okay so as per uh, factory design pattern uh, if you want to get object of uh, the subclasses then uh, we have to write a animal factory class okay and uh, that animal factory class we have to write get animal method okay and uh, this will return the super class uh, reference okay and uh, here you have to pass animal type okay so in this get animal method you have to pass the animal type based on the animal type you passed uh, it will create the corresponding animal object and it will return suppose say if you pass uh, animal type as dog okay then uh, it will go to this if class and it will create the new dog object and assign to the animal superclass reference and finally that animal superclass reference will be written to the caller okay like that uh, if you pass a duck, uh, duck then uh, uh, this method will create the duck object and assign to the superclass uh, object reference uh, animal and uh, that animal reference will be written to the caller like that uh, if you pass animal type as uh, uh, lion then uh, new line object will be created and assigned to super class uh, object animal and that animal uh, object will be returned to the caller okay so basically what this method does is uh, based on the animal type you pass it will create the corresponding uh, animal and assign to the super class animal uh, object reference and it it will return to the caller okay so we will see how the client class uh, look like uh, suppose uh, we want to get uh, uh, dark object from this animal uh, factory class so what we have to do is uh, you have to create animal factory object uh, like this uh, animal factory and animal factory object equal to new animal factory and once you get the animal factory you have to call get animal method by passing the uh, animal type dark okay so so it will call uh, this method and uh, dog object will be created and it will assign to uh, super class object reference animal and uh, that animal will be uh, returned to the caller okay now uh, it is calling animal dot speak now this animal uh, has reference of dog object so it will call uh, dog object speak method okay so dog object speak method will return bark bark okay like that it will work so basically this part is the client code uh, which call animal factory object get animal method okay 
now if you read uh, the sentences you will understand clearly so i will read out the first sentence in uh, factory design pattern we create object without exposing the creation logic to the client so what we are doing is in this method only animal factory get animal method only we are creating the object but uh, the client doesn't know how the object is created the client just passing the animal type okay uh, the animal factory get animal method is responsible for creating the object so we are creating the object without exposing the create creation logic to the client okay and refer newly created object using a common interface so in this uh, in this uh, uh, in this scenario animal is the common interface right so you can see all our we are creating the dock object or duck object or line object and assigning to the um, common uh, uh, object that is animal right this is a super class and that animal uh, super class object reference is written to the caller so we create object using object without exposing the creation logic to the client right we are creating the object without uh, exposing the creation logic to the client and uh, refer newly created object so in this case uh, the do dog is newly created object or duck is a newly created object or line is a newly created object using a common interface so here we are referring that uh, dog or duck or line object using the common uh, interface so in this case animal it's a super class reference object right so this is the first uh, sentence so i think you understand the first sentence clearly now we will go to the second uh, sentence in simple words if you have a super class and n subclasses and based on the data provided we have to return the object of one of the subclasses so in this case super class is animal and uh, duck dog and uh, lion are the subclasses and based on the animal type you passed uh, this method is returning the one of the subclass object right so that is what to mention in the second uh, sentence and uh, third sentence the basic principle behind this pattern is that at runtime we get an object of similar type based on the parameter we pass so we are passing the animal type based on the uh, parameter uh, animal type uh, it will return the uh, object object of uh, similar kind right see this duck dog and lion are uh, animal category right so it is a similar type so that is what mentioned in the third sentence and fourth sentence uh, we will see uh, suppose uh, if you uh, suppose we want to create uh, object of uh, duck so what we will do usually is uh, we will create a duck object using the new keyword right right like this and then once we get the duck object we will call the duck object method suppose say uh, there are 100 files are there in that 100 files uh, we are using like this okay and uh, later point of time uh, requirement change and you have to pass uh, number of legs in the constructor to uh, create the duck object so like this okay so if uh, the requirement change like this then what we have to do is we have to go and change in 100 files like this new duck instead of uh, empty constructor you have to pa pass the uh, number of legs okay so we have to go and change 100 files okay so this kind of uh, uh, this kind of going and changing in every places we can avoid using the animal uh, factory or uh, this kind of if you use uh, this factory pattern we can avoid this kind of uh, uh, work like uh, if uh, object creation logic is changed uh, in future then we no need to go and change in all the places instead of that one uh, the ob if object creation code is in the common uh, place uh, we can just go and change in the common place so suppose say 100 files uh, we are writing uh, like this means then uh, if in future if uh, uh, the object creation logic is changed means we have to go and change only in this place right new duck and pass the number of legs we no need to go and change in 
100 files that is what uh, in the fourth uh, sentence if object creation code is spread in whole application and if you need to change the process of object creation then you need to go go in and uh, go in each and every place to make necessary changes right so this kind of work we can avoid if we are using factory design button okay and uh, this is about uh, factory design button introduction i have created a separate video for uh, factory design button implementation and class diagram uh, you can log into my channel and uh, watch those videos and uh, thanks for watching bye